Well, Larry, uh, regardless of what happens Wednesday, what would you say is the value of just playing a game like this? Well, I mean, it's been an awful long time since, uh, well, I shouldn't say Arizona. So we've had some top level teams come in here, but preseason wise, uh, you know, to have a top 10 team, certainly with the kind of streak that they're talking about having intact since 2012. And, uh, you know, we're really familiar uh, and watching some of their successes the last few, you know, for a team to have lost one game last year coming in. And um, we've obviously been looking at a lot of tape, but it's a, it's a marquee game for us, a uh, non-conference game. And hopefully, you know, I think the fans have identified that. And we'll, we'll have an environment here. Um, this should be pretty special that night, and you know it's a it's a really good team. You know their their team is solid and doesn't make many mistakes, and they're really good on both sides of the basketball. So, um, you know the winning is important, but it's again it's it's part of juicing up the schedule so that at the end of the day, hopefully, it prepares us for conference play, and and uh, you know we'll be able to potentially garner a little bit of respect through that game. We'll wait and see. Um, Coach, this, you talked about this upcoming five-game stretch. You said, you know, it's obviously one of the tougher stretches in non-conference of, of most teams in, in the country. Um, you know, what do you kind of sense that that has to happen? Uh, you know, for to have to build that profile and and kind of what would you like to see out of your guys? Um, kind of taking from this this last week of basketball. Well, I you know I think I mentioned Saturday night the five games, but as always is the case, it's the next game that's the most important one, and we're completely focused on on the Shockers and, and what it is they do. Then we're going to have a little period of time before we worry about the next one um, between games. So we're, you know, it's a little bit of a combination of trying to fix some of the things that were broken from the weekend that we didn't do a great job at, and, and then uh, obviously a lot of preparation for what it is Wichita State does offensively and defensively and a little bit of a limited time to do that a couple days um, you know Monday Tuesday and a shoot around on Wednesday so um, you know it's not rocket science and we're not looking ahead as to what it is we're looking to come out with at the end of five games it's 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 survival of in this next game and do whatever it is necessary to try to give ourselves a chance to win and I've always said whether it's when the five games are over or when your 30 games are over, you kind of look back and you reflect on it. But uh, our mindset right now is just very much in the in the present and uh, and trying to keep things pretty simple. You know, as uh, as Tony Dungy says in his book, you do ordinary things extraordinarily well. And it's not like time for us to start recreating anything or coming up with anything special. It's doing some of the the little simple things and and not having some of the mistakes. I do think the the main key for us. We've had a number of different games and we've had an Achilles heel in some of those games that we need to clean up. And now is the time. Uh, maybe in a little bit of a grinded out session you know uh in the upcoming games it's going to be tempo and it's going to be each of these possessions being real important we have we have to make free throws in games we can't turn it over we got to rebound maybe start putting it all together against really good opponents that's probably the big focus larry i know you got a lot of new guys in the program but you got a core of guys who've gone through the pac-12 wars with the arizonas the uclas and that how have those games prepared the guys for a game like this a big time game well, you know, I think it's, it's uh, you know, you'd never say you're completely prepared. You need to be on edge with anybody. But we've been in some some hostile environments in some big games and, and played on a pretty big stage. I think our guys realize that. You know, we've, um, I, I talked about it a year ago where you, maybe it's it's about survival to start with. And, uh, and then you're kind of trying to be competitive. And the next step is winning those kind of games. And I think, you know, maybe some maturity uh, helps. Just because you come back and you're a junior and not a freshman anymore doesn't mean that you're going to, you know, all of a sudden not make mistakes and do the right thing and make shots. But you'd like to think when you've got, you know, the more reps and the more games that the kids have had an opportunity to play, and I would think they'd be better, better uh, prepared for something like this. So uh, it should be a pretty special environment you know, on, on Wednesday. And uh, it's, it, again, it's one heck of a basketball team. And, 
and uh, I think we're ready ready for the challenge and you know hopefully the the ball bounces our way when it needs to.